Tonight, 911 dispatch delays still plague the city of St. Louis. This is a problem News 4 has been following for you for months now. Now, the city says it is taking new steps to bring the 911 system into the 21st century. Our Jenna Ray talked with one downtown business owner who says the changes can't come fast enough. She joins us live on Wash Ave. Here on Wash Ave, we've seen quite the violent crime here this summer. It's something where many of those incidents have actually resulted in people having to call 911. But what if those 911 dispatchers didn't answer? That's exactly what happened to a local business owner here on this block. And it's something the city says they're working to change. So I called the police two times and they didn't answer anytime. It's a story many St. Louisans are far too familiar with. I was working really late at night. It was probably like to midnight and like a homeless man, I'm assuming, uh, knocked on my window with like a box cutter and was asking for money and I was in there by myself. Chris Cole is a Washington Avenue business owner. She says by the time she actually got a hold of police, the man had left her alone. When you call 911, do you expect them to answer? Yes, especially like down here. That has never happened before. So I was shocked because it was like I called two times. It's like, how are you not answering the phone? In 2020 and into early 2021, 64% of calls were answered by dispatchers in the city of St. Louis within 10 seconds. A significant decline from 2018 numbers when nearly 80% of calls were being answered within that same time span. City officials say they're working to change that. It really is a process of uh, selecting the new system, merging the data, making sure that people are trained. Public Safety Director Dan Isom says for the last 50 years, police and fire have operated on separate dispatching systems in different locations. If fire or EMS has to respond to a call, they need to make sure the scene is clear before they respond. That requires them contacting the police department. If the police department is busy and they can't contact them, then they're not responding to your fire. Simply being in the same building, you could yell down the hall and say, is the scene clear? And then an officer could respond. Isom tells News 4 the entire process will take a year. However, he also says citizens could see an immediate impact. The end goal is better public safety, right? The end goal is that we hope that more citizens will get their calls answered more quickly and we'll be able to respond to people in crisis a lot better. Isom tells me that the next step is to get that new system and then merge the two systems together. After that, it's hiring. Right now, the city of St. Louis has 25 open 911 dispatcher positions. It's something the city says they're hoping to fill as soon as possible. We're live on Washington Avenue tonight. This is Jenna Ray for News 4.